my budget totally changed. My grocery okay. shopping budget totally. Yeah, I mean, like I use Lose.com. I mm -hmm. enter my breakfast, lunch, dinner. Mm -hmm. It's a digital thing. It's a, yeah. it's a computer thing to keep me accountable of how many calories I count calories. That's that's a good point. I was it, my doctor recommended that I go on um, some Diet Pal program and put an app on my mm -hmm. cell phone. Mm -hmm. I really never did that. And it was um, not that I didn't want to do it. I tried to do it. It was just very difficult because what happens is, is I used to, I, it was one of those devices where you really have to scan the barcodes. You have to, have to have the right do it all digitally. And I'm not that savvy with electronics. So I was a label reader. I will read a label okay. like crazy Good. now. I will not put anything in my cart without reading a label. Before, I would never read a label. I mean, just a can of green beans has so much sodium in it, and it's it's just, you know. And the serving sizes is key, I've noticed. Um, I, I just bullet those three things, the carbs, the proteins, and the sugar on everything I read. I used to be a sodium watcher, but I realized that, you know, it really wasn't the sodium was not my issue. It was the carbs. Mm -hmm. And once I figured it out, I had like, you know, my radar on for those certain things. Um, what I have noticed though is um, I did have, when I, when I want to have a little snack and, and I know it's not on my diet, it's usually uh, chips and salsa. It's my weakness. And I know that when I'm reading the chips and salsa bag, I'm not going to sit down and just sit there and eat them until they're gone. I will actually read the serving size. And it's tricky sometimes because sometimes they double up the servings in the container. Because you think, well, one container is a serving size, and sometimes a container is two serving sizes. And you think you're safe if you just, you know, eat the whole container. But, um, you know, like really count um, the serving sizes, watch those key things. Mm -hmm. Have you changed the way you cook? Do you um, cook? I do cook and I change the way I cook. I do cook with uh, less oil so I, I only cook with like an olive oil or stir fry light. I, I used to cook my vegetables to death and now I'm preferring them more crunchy and, and mm -hmm. lightly steamed. Um, eating out is a big problem. You know, because you really, uh, what I found eating out is most of the menus um, do have like a Weight Watchers section. So I just go straight to that and I try not to tempt myself with, with the other things. And I found that they are, for the most part, um, haven't interfered with any of my, my weight loss. Um, I started out with a thousand calorie diet per day. She wanted me to start on the first week with cutting the carbs out, like almost everything that was a carb, just get rid of it. Um, she had me down to like 12 to 20 carbs a day. And but she did explain to the difference between good carbs and bad yes. carbs, didn't she? Yes. She didn't take away the good carbs too, did she? She took away it first all week. the first week. First week. And then she started gradually weaning me back into it. Oh, okay. Just to kind of give my body that, my brain saying, okay. I haven't been with carbs for a week. I know I can push through this a little bit more because what I found out just from my own experimentation is I really don't eat a whole lot to where I'm going over a thousand or twelve hundred or even thirteen calories a day and that still keeps you in line for a gradual weight loss, one or two pounds a week. But what I've learned is is that my mind and my body reacts to carbs differently than it would like sugar, mm -hmm. you know? Because once those chips are in my system, my body's like, wow, I got a carb fix, mm -hmm. you know? And then I noticed my scale didn't move and, and it didn't, you know, it kind of tilted up. It made me feel like I was retaining fluid. You know, it made me feel like I was holding on to more water or something, even though I knew I didn't exceed my caloric intake, I was just, so once you took all those carbs away, mm -hmm. it's a big change. Big what change. did you eat for breakfast, lunch, and dinner? I could have sausage, 
eggs, cheese, some of my favorite things. I would skip breakfast. I never really ate breakfast. I was not a big breakfast fan. But with the diet, I was like, wow, I can eat these things. I was very excited mm -hmm. to know that I could eat these, you know, and, and just minus the bread part. Um, she told me to eat a protein with every meal. Do not skip a protein to just, you know. So what did you eat besides the protein? Um, I ate salads, lots of salads, lots of green leafy vegetables. Um, I really never skimped on my salad dressings. There are some salad dressings that um, I do read the labels on them. So I go with the low sugar, the, the lower carb dressings. And um, I know that the Marie's and some of um, the Walden's brands are, are really good for diets. Um, so I just know routinely that these are the things that I'm constantly recycling and storing in my cabinets, you know, so uh, it's helping me, you know, plan my meals a little bit better. It's helping me with, with uh, reorganizing my, my budget as well. So I have a real... Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you use like a card calendar in the book or something when you were starting out until you could like learn what was high in carbs and what wasn't? I knew what was high in carbs because I played with so many other well, diets tell us, before. Tell them the white rice is terrible. Um, corn, Dance. terrible. Popcorn, terrible. Anything white. Anything like, white. Um, white potatoes. If you if you love potatoes, go with a sweet potato. Mm -hmm. If you're considering uh, uh, low season. carb, I didn't. I haven't touched rice since August. If you're considering low carb, the best book is South Beach because in there it gives you the 14 day program. It tells you breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and snack, and you can alternate your your meats and your uh, like. Say for example, if it says have codfish and you're not really into codfish, I'm gonna have salmon. I don't like salmon, I'm gonna have red snapper. You know, you could interchange those and as long as it's on the same and there's a whole page after page after page of what is a carb, how many's in what, what size and everything. And the best one I found at the library and I went through all of them was the South Beach and there's South Beach one and South Beach two. Mm -hmm. They even have a South Beach cookbook, which I had in my archives. Also, I want to point out that she said that um, she ate greens and salads. Oh, yeah. What people don't know is green vegetables have carbohydrate in them. Mm -hmm. So it's not that she was totally off carbohydrate. She just had the low, what they call low glycemic or low sugar. Yeah, almost everything has a little carb to it. Right. I mean, and we need that. Yeah, we do. Uh, yogurt is, is an alternative that I could take, you know, and berries. Blueberries, blackberries, strawberries. Yeah. You know, I could eat the berries. That was a that was a good one. What's a berry? Just fruit? no apple. Tell us a fruit. No is. apple. Banana. Absolutely the worst. Mangoes. I would start out every day grabbing a banana. Oh, okay. Apple. It's like sugar, fat. Okay. Yeah. You know. So um, watermelon floated with sugar. Oh yeah. yeah. No watermelon. Yeah. And you would think, Same. well, it's all just water. water no. Yeah. yeah. Um, Watch your labels too, because a lot of times, you know, we get we we really get sidetracked by the marketing of it all, and um, don't believe everything you read, because you know a lot of times the disclaimers say that the FDA had nothing to do with this, they haven't done any testing, and right, you know, the majority of the weight loss programs that are out there are very expensive. They they are full of nothing that's nutritional. It's chemicals you're just adding to your body, and it's and it's actually um, every success story that you might see on television or whatever, like, you know, the slim fasts and all those things, is usually accompanied by a very strict diet and exercise. You know, the fact that, you know, they are getting those results is probably not because of the product itself. It's because of their change in diet and their seriousness about their, their new lifestyle and, and, you know, the things that... Um, did that have an adverse effect? And, and we we discussed this last week in part of constipation. Did you go through anything like that? No, no not really. You didn't. Um, there was a couple of maybe weeks where I felt like you know just kind of getting over the hump. You know, I had um, I had that like once in the last six months. And there's very good. Um, my doctor said just take the Activa yogurt. 
and that should help if I needed something a little bit stronger. Um, aloe vera, uh, the, the gel, you can buy them at the vitamins, is 100% natural pure stuff, the aloe vera gel will help, you know, kind of cleanse your system.